I'm in WordPress and I have typed up a blog. I just went to post, add new, uh, typed in a title, added the image by clicking on upload insert, placing it to the right, and I selected the medium size since this is a lower res version of the image. And I typed up the actual blog itself, updating people about our new logo and what's going on at the inn right now. Um, to preview that, again, you just kind of click this preview button. This is what it'll look like when it's posted. So if you want to change sizing or maybe we want to make Hops Farm Inn go to the left, let's try that and see what that looks like. So just click on here, click on this little icon and let's see what it looks like on the left of the screen. So we'll preview that. You know, I kind of like that a little better. So let's close this back out, go back to the dashboard, hit publish. It'll take a few sec seconds to uh, do that and then we can click on view post. This is the live website and what the new uh, post looks like. Um, I, and I already did spell check. I'll show you where to find that here. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this URL so that I can paste it into Facebook. So I'm just going to close this. And um, spell check here, it will underline words and grammatical errors. I have a plugin put in for that. And so it's a little more advanced spelling and grammar check. But you can always click the button and run it again. And if a letter is underlined in red, you just click on it and it'll give you suggestions for new spellings. Um, so I have Facebook open already here. And they've changed things a bit, so I'll show you how to do that. You can see right now I'm logged in as me, but I want to put this post up as Hops Farm In. So under this Manage drop down, there's Use Facebook as Hops Farm In. That's where they moved it, and that's where you'll go to change back to uh, using Facebook as you. I'm just going to page down here, and um, under the banner, uh, Right here is where you go to post something um, on your wall. And I'm just going to paste the URL here. And you'll see it brings up the image from the blog posting. And if you don't have an image from the blog posting, it either won't put one or it'll grab another image from another blog posting or another image from the web altogether. And it might give you a few options. You can click through right here to choose your thumbnail. And if you have multiple images in your blog posting, as we do sometimes, it'll give you the choice like one of five and you can just flip through and pick what thumbnail you want to use. I would always use one if you have one instead of clicking no thumbnail because people having a visual just grabs their attention a little easier. Uh, if you want to type something about it, uh, you just hit return and here's our latest blog post. And you'll see it um, took the first couple of sentences that I wrote and uh, used that, you know, as the little blurb to grab people's attention. And then when they click on this, the beautiful thing about it is it takes you to your website instead of being so Facebook dependent on posts. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click post and show you how that works here. So this is how it'll show up on your wall. And then people can just click the link and it takes them to the website, which is great because you want to get people on the website. And I believe they can also click here and it'll take it to the website as well, which is really nice. So, and the logo looks good. Um, so, yeah, that's that little tutorial on how to do that. And I'll keep making these little things to help you manage your website and get on your homework and send me those write ups. <laughs> anyway. Bye.